Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to our first practice with the pros. We're trying something new. Every year we try to layer on what we're doing at Sandcast, and this year we're trying a little practice with the pros. It's not exactly tutorials. If you're looking for tutorials, Better at Beach has you covered, the McKibbins have you covered, but we're just gonna have our boy, producer Thredo La Machina, come film us at a couple practices throughout the year, and we're gonna show you behind the scenes what a professional warm-up looks like, what our passing progressions look like, and what we do in the preseason, what we do mid-season. So for this first video, we're gonna show you what an excellent warm-up looks like, and I've been looking into a lot of motor learning research, and all the research suggests the best way to warm up for your sport could be basketball, baseball, golf, volleyball, whatever, is to warm up doing something that looks a lot like your sport. All right, so we're gonna be doing a lot of variations of what we call skinny court. I used to do this for hours at a time with Tim Brewster. I think Andy still plays it. You'll do whole practices with Miles skinny court, right? Yeah, yeah so you'll do a whole practice of this stuff. So we'll be doing a bunch of variations. The first variation is no jump. You get all three touches, so it's one-on-one, -on -one, pass, set, no jump with your strong hand. You switch on five points, just like we're playing a match to 15, or set to 15. The second variation is pass, set, you can jump, but you're hitting with your opposite hand. I know I just said we're doing something that looks a lot like volleyball, but you'd be surprised how often the opposite hands come into contact. Lefty kill. So everything working for Trevor Crabb in this second set. Good dig. It's not a foundation of what we're doing, but it's just fun to get warmed up. And then the last variation is called two, one, none. So you get one of your touches, you get a full platform, you get a handset. One of your second touches, you only get one. So it's either poke, a poke, fist, whatever one platform, and then you have to do a soccer touch. So that's none. Chest, header, foot. Anna Patricia is an expert at that. She does it pretty much at least once or twice, maybe even three times a match, and it's awesome. So Hughes goes again. Patricia drops off. Oh, chase down from Patricia. Can she make it? Oh, unbelievable <laughs> seconds. Oh, this is a just phenomenal effort. Hughes, a third time of asking. It couldn't be, could it? It could no. be for Brazil. And then once we get all of our touches warmed up, then it's just pass, set, jump, hit with your strong arm. By then, everyone's warmed up. Let's see how the boys do it. These are officially measured lines. We're official out here on the beach. Yeah. see generally a skinny court you're like it's about half of the court and then it's just volleyball except there's only one of you so you pass you set your own pass and then whatever the rules stipulate either it's opposite handed normal handed jump no jump you just got to put it down That's the greatest warm up in the world. Warmed up your serving, warmed up your passing, warmed up your setting, and you had fun. There's a very underrated element that fun's not included to shit practice. That's a good start to a good practice. Now we're gonna move on to passing. 